Hello there and welcome to Pernell's Art Critique Talks. Now, my job is to teach you quickly and briefly how to talk about art. Now, um, the layman can talk about art, but um, they haven't got the vernacular and the skill to talk about art in the proper fashion. Now, what I'm here to do is to just give you a brief example of how I talk about art, and what you'll be able to do is study that talk and be able to um, uh, discover new ways of talking about art which you never thought possible before. So, what I'll do first is um, um, give you an example. So this is a piece called um, Floor, Untitled Floor, by Rachel Whiteread, um, made in about 1994 or 95. Uh, very famous piece indeed. Um, so if I just talk about this art, you'll be able to gleam bags and bags and bags and bags of knowledge from what I say and soon enough you'll be an art critic. Now this piece um, is black, it's very dark, um, so immediately you think dread, um, absolute dread, horror, um, but then you, then you begin to look at it and, and you see, hold on, it's in a gallery, it's on a clean floor, it's, um, it's below me, it's very shallow, and I don't mean that in a, in a, um, a met metaphorical sense, um, <laughs> I mean it's in a physical sense, it's, it's very shallow, um, but actually, uh, metaphorically, it's very deep, it's a very deep piece. Um, and as you can see, it's made of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10, 14 pieces. Now, I don't know exactly what whether 14 represents some kind of magic number, but um, there are 14 pieces, and to me, they look like bars of gold, but that's a contradiction because they're black. Uh, they're, they're dark black soot like um uh, blocks um but they do look to me like bars of gold so it's, it's an interesting ambiguity she's created now when i walked into the gallery and saw this for the first time i was astounded of the um the complete um overwhelming uh, impact it had upon my eyes. Um, I was literally blown away. Um, I was completely, completely blown away by this. Now, why? You, I hear you ask why. Um, well, it, it, it's, it's very low on the ground. Um, and I was, I was thinking, well, well, normally I'd be blown away by something that was taller, something that was taller by me, that had some kind of um, gravity to it. But this, this really had no gravity. It was, it was down below my feet. I could, I mean, it's called floor. I could have walked upon it, um, but no, no, I didn't want to walk upon it because of its, of its power over me it literally was dominating my myself i i i couldn't believe it anyway um so what could you mean so we've got we've got the idea of gold bars we've got the idea of of of, of the um uh, the juxtaposition between between wealth and 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 Soot, uh, poverty, and the rich, um, or maybe she just wanted a gold floor, and all she could have was uh, 
a, you know, a, a wooden floor or a soot floor or a, or a concrete floor and what she really wanted was gold. Um, there's other ways to look at this. I mean, I, you know, if you look at it from, from this angle, if you, if you look at the picture now, now, from this angle, the, the, the bit of the sculpture closest to us is wider and the, the um, edge of the sculpture furthest away is narrower. So it's going off at a distance and there are different ways of looking at this. I mean, if you could imagine yourself getting lower and lower to the ground and um, going beneath the ground and looking at it from, from almost underneath it, then them edges, that the, the shallow edges on the left and right there, um, if you're looking at it from underneath, they would also be getting narrower the further away they become. So, I mean, it's interesting from a, from a physical point of view as to how this object changes when you look at it. Now, this says a lot about the, the way in which we live our lives. If we look at things from different angles, we actually see different um, different perspectives on life. And I think this is what the works say. Um, so, I mean, there's a, there's a brief overview of, of, of how I think you know, art critiques, um, art critics can look, can, can look and, and discuss art. Um, so I hope this has been helpful and, um, come back for more art talks with, um, Pernell's Art Talks. Thank you very much.